Hi, this is Muhammad from Global Techs, and in this video, we'll showcase you Odoo version 10 Magento 2 connector. So, we'll be starting with the introduction part, and we'll show you how to create instances and how to create Magento shops in Odoo and managing your own workflows and the initial import. So, here you can see I am in Odoo right now, and we have different modules available with us, including the Magento connector which we have already installed, and uh, with other apps so let's go into the magento part and once i click on magento you can see that we have dashboards available with us where you can take necessary actions on the dashboard itself we have two stores right now created so based on the magento shops you have it will showcase here the number of shops on the dashboard you can manage your order pending order and draft order etc so let's go into the magento instance part and we will start by creating a new instance so you can click on the create button and once you click on create button a form will open where you can put the name of your instance the location the username and the password after adding all the information you can click on load magento stores so once you click here your magento stores will get imported in odoo so let me showcase you with one of the existing instance which we have already created so this is the instance let me edit this here we have the name of the instance the location the username and the password which we have already added so let me just uh, click on the save button or uh, let me discard this and uh, then we can move forward with the magento shop part so after adding all these information we'll go into the magento shops so we have two shops available right now so let's go into one of the shop here you can see all the list of details about the shop which we have already created in Udo from magento and from here you can take uh, different necessary actions like importing customer group and importing customers importing orders then importing your invoices exporting shipment importing picking and exporting invoices so this is the uh, base area where you can manage things from the sh for the shop itself and we have another part which is workflow and settings so to create your own workflows based on your requirements you can click on create button you can give the name of your workflow based on your business processes then you can we have shipment and order part where you can set the shipping policy and uh, you can uh, click on validate order part in case you require and uh, we have you can also manage reserve quantity part and complete shipment area based on your workflows based on your business processes you can manage it the shipment and order part another part is the invoicing part where you can set the invoicing policies so we have order quantity delivered quantity invoice based on time and material so you can also check box on create invoice in case once the order has been placed in magento what needs to be done like you can create the invoice directly from udo so for that you just need to check box that create invoice part or if you want to validate the invoice in Udo, you can click on validate invoice or in case if you want to register the payments in Udo, so you can register the payment part here so we have shipment export magento where you have uh, two different options available so you can uh, select any one of them we have on creation and done so let me just open it so you can uh, click on the options you want in your workflow for shipment or export to magento and after that we have uh, invoice export to magento there are three options available you can select the options as per your requirement so based on your requirement you can put it we have uh, also the ship product part where you can select the shipping product and apart from that uh, you can also directly uh, update your inventory in real time with this checkbox so in case you update your inventory in Udo and you want to update in magento you can do that by clicking on this checkbox 
and uh, there is another part which is discount product so you can select the discount product so let me just select discount product here okay and then uh, we also have the real update uh, order status so whenever you want a real time update of your order status you can check box this so this or uh, this whole workflow differs based on your business requirements and we also have the accounting part and the inventory part where you can set your sales journal you can see set the price list then again stock location in case you have multiple stock location then warehouse also you can set up for the inventory part and in case you have a uh, multi-company you can uh, just select the multi-company part also you can manage your company from here itself so let me just uh, discard this part and i will show you the existing workflow which we have already created so this is the test uh, demo workflow which we have already created here so it's a very basic one right now so let's go into the another part of our uh, demo where we can uh, showcase you in magento instance we'll click on one of the instance and we'll showcase you the three part in this video which is import attributes set import categories and import product attributes so let's start with the import uh, attribute set first so to do that first we will click on import attribute set button and once we click on import attribute set all the attribute set which you have uh, created in magento will get imported into udo so here are the list of uh, your attribute sets where we can see that uh, we have uh, different attribute sets and let's go in one of the attribute sets here you can see we have this one as an attribute set with whole detailing including the magento instance to which magento instance it's belong so let's go into again magento instance and let's initiate with the import category part so i will click on import category button so once i click there all your product categories will get imported so let's uh, initiate with the sales module and uh, in sales module uh, we cannot see right now the categories right now so let's go in the settings and activate the developer mode so i will click on activate the developer mode and now we can see all the categories in udo so let's go again the sales module and uh, here you can see that in products we have product categories available so these are all are your product categories from magento which has been imported into udo and uh, these are complete detail about your category so once that is done you can again go into the magento part and in magento you can click on magento instance and from there we can import the product attributes so after clicking this button all your product attributes in magento will get imported so this is the attributes which we have so let's go in one of the attribute and here you can see the details which is available with us about the attributes and attributes set so let's go into uh, another part of this video here okay, you can see we have all the details about the attributes which has been imported so this was basically about uh, Udo Magento connector. This is the first part of the video. For more information, you can visit www.globaltext.com or email us on sales at globaltext.com. Thank you.